So let's dive a little bit deeper into weight and ball position. Okay, so for these 50 to 125 yard shots, uh, one of the people that I always look back to was uh, a guy like Dean Wilson, a guy like Charlie Wee, a guy like Aaron Baddeley. These guys were really good wedge players. They were also under that stack and tilt method. Now what was so good about that stack and tilt method was that it actually got your pressure forward. This was great for wedge play, okay? It wasn't great for driving the golf ball, uh, but it was great for wedge play. So why was it so good for wedge play? Well, it got your weight position forward, and as your weight position got forward, it allowed you to hit down on that ball and allowed that ball to come out low, okay? All the best wedge players in the world hit their wedges low, especially from 50 to 125. They hit their wedges low, but some of the best players in the world, they actually hit their long irons really, really high. So we wanna flight our wedges down, probably lower than you would imagine. So in that fashion, how do we set up to a spot to, that allows us to flight these wedges low? Well, we wanna get our weight positioned slightly forward at a dress, okay? This is gonna match up with a ball position that's slightly forward, okay? So I don't wanna go ball position back and then weight forward. I wanna go ball position just forward of center and I'm gonna get my weight just slightly forward as well. This is gonna allow me that nice downward attack angle. It's gonna allow me good ball contact and it's gonna help me to flight this ball low, okay? I don't wanna see a 70 yard shot coming out really, really high. Um, we want to be able to control this thing, so we're going to flight it low and it's going to have some spin on it. So we got to get a little bit of pressure forward at address, and we've got to get that ball position slightly forward of center. 